Justina ni mama yao na Pascali. Justina ni mama alifariki tarehe 17 mwezi wa 8 mwaka 2014. Mimi na yeye tumefahamiana tukiwa kanisani. Nilikuwa tu mimi natumika pale kanisani na yeye pia alikuwa anatumika pale kanisani basi kaamua kuniamini. We met Rita, and she was smart, and there was a spark in her. Uh, the woman I was with actually asked her if she was in school. I was um, she was not. My mother couldn't afford it. She looked at me and said, can you help? Um, I would, had just arrived a month earlier, um, so the question was a big one for me. Um, but when I... Met with her and her mom, I decided for sure I would sponsor her in school. Basi kwa kuwa walikuwa waelewe lugha mama Pascali akaamua kuniita na kuniambia kwamba mimi nimsaidie kuongea na huyo mzungu maana yeye aelewe lugha. They would come and ask for food, you know, basics that uh, we take for granted. So um, uh, finally we decided that we would open Mama Business. So we opened the Bachelor Cafe. And I thought, good, now it's done. I'll sponsor Rita in school and Mom can take care of the, the children. Um, but then she got very sick. Kari siku zinavoziri kwenda ule mama alikuwa bado ni mgonjwa na pia huyo mzungu alikuwa mpata anaitwa Susan. Susan naye kabidi arudi kwao maana muda wake wa kukaa hapo alikuwa umeisha. Basi alipoondoka hapa Susan akawa anatumia watu wengine ambao ni watu wazima of course. Kwa hiyo akawa anatuma pesa lakini wale watu walikuwa sio waaminifu. Pesa ikitumwa haifiki kwa ule mama na ule mama kumbuka kwamba alikuwa ni mgonjwa na pia aliwahi kufungulia kafe lakini kafe alishindwa kuiendesha kwa sababu ugonjwa ulikuwa umezidi ela ta kuendesha maisha yake kulipa kodi watoto kula ikawa imemshinda kwa sababu sasa ela alikuwa atumii kafe alifunga akawa na namna yoyote basi kwa namna ile mimi nikawa nimeiona nikawa nafika pale na muangalia siku nyingine na mimi naomba ata pesa nyumbani apeleka na msaidie hivyo hivyo kwa kuwa nilikuwa nimeshajiingiza kwenye moyo wa kumsaidia na pia linaamini Nikaa nimepata mawasiliano ya Susan, nikawasiliana na Susan Canada. Nikamweleza hali halisi ilivyo Tanzania kwamba ile mama anaendeleaje na sasa hivi yukoje. Basi ndo sasa akana akanatuma hela tukao tunamsaidia ile mama lakini hali aliyokuwa amefikia msaada ulikuwa ni mdogo tayari. Ile mama akawa amepoteza uhai. Mnamo tarehe 17 mwezi wa 8 2014. watoto sasa ndo sasa nikawasiliana Susan tufanyaje hao watoto. Kwa ile mama aliyokuwa na kanao alikuwa na uwezo. Kwa hiyo ikabidi tumchukue Pascali tumlete hapa ili tuweze kumsaidia kwa karibu. Ile mara ya kwanza kabisa kuonana nao nilionana nao ilikuwa ni kanisani. Eh kuna sehemu fulani ambayo nakwenda kuabudu pale ndo nikaja nika nikakutana na mama yake. Mama yake akaniambia kwamba mtoto wake ana ana matatizo ya kifua 
kifua kinam kinambana na nakooa kwa muda mrefu alafu ana homa kwa hiyo moja kwa moja nikabidi nimlete hapa kwa ajili ya matibabu kwa ajili ya matibabu ambayo ilikuwa ni dawa pamoja na na vipimo kwa hiyo katika vile vipimo tukamfanyia vipimo vile tukaja tukampa dawa kwa ajili ya ki shida ilikuwa zaidi ilikuwa ni kifua alikuwa na pneumonia kwa tukamchoma sindano za pneumonia tukampa na dawa lakini hakupata nafu yoyote akarudi mara ya pili akaja akamrudisha ndio tukao tumeanza kususpect kitu cha namna hiyo kwa ndo tukamfanyia vipimo baada ya mama Pascal kufariki nilikuja nikampata Joshua pamoja na Susan wao ndo walikuja kujitolea kwa ajili ya kuja kumwangalia Pascal kwa hiyo ikabidi niwafundishe namna ya kumtunza e, kuanzia kwenye kiafya ambayo ni afya ya tuseme yani matibabu pamoja na kwa ujumla kwa matunzo yake ya kimwili right now Rita is staying with her mama uh-huh. and Pascal because he's been so sick he's staying yeah. with Joshua and his family kitu kilicho ni sukuma mimi nikaenda nikamchukua Pascal. Pascal aliumwa akabadilika. Akabadilika sana. Na Pascal alipungua kilo hadi kilo 14 kutoka kilo 19. Kwa akawa ameisha, akawa afanani ngozi kama imebadilika, akawa anaumwa mara kwa mara. Kwa nikamchukua, nikampeleka kwa daktari daktari akasema kwamba mtoto wali yake sio nzuri na hii ni kutokana na malazi na lishe pia apati lishe bora kwa mkicheza huu mtoto kuna hatiati ya kuweza kumpoteza kwa sasa ile huruma walivoniambia hatiati ya kumpoteza nikaingia na huruma sana moyoni nikaja nikaongea na familia japokuwa kulitokea changamoto changamoto hapo katikati lakini baadaye wakaja waka accept ikamchukua na sasa mimi ndo naishi naye na lala naye kila kitu yani kila kitu namfanyia Pascal mimi kama mimi na kuangalia na kulaje analalaje amemkaje leo asubuhi na kumsindikiza pia shule The mama she had been asked there is any problem she said that there is Kuna siku moja Pascal aliumwa kifua tu kile kilimjia basi akawa yani ana joto kali limemjia na kifua kile kina yani kile kifua cha ndani kabisa cha kulia njwe 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 basi nilimchukua nikamtoa nje apate kwanza hewa apate ule upepo baadaye nikaenda kwa matron nikamuelezea akampeleka hospitali daktari daktari eh daktari kwanza kwanza tulichofanya ni kwamba tukachukua sampo ya damu kwa ajili ya kwenda kufanya vipimo vya CD4 ili tuone kwamba CD4 zake ziko kwa kiwango gani ili tumwanzishie ERV kwa kile kipimo ikaja kika kikafanyika kule ilikuwa ni AICC hospital majibu ya kaja yakaonyesha kwamba kipimo chake ni kwamba yani hakisomi chochote kwamba yani ile CD4 yani ni kwamba zinakuwa ni almost ni nili yani inakuwa ni sifuri and while i was in transit um Pascali was hospitalized Um he was very sick and I learned that he almost died. So I arrived and instead of a welcoming party we had a get together at the hospital I guess you could say. He was in and out of the hospital quite a bit. He had countless needles, IVs, oxygen and at one point I even prayed if this is his life take him now. But anyway, he's well now. We're getting him treatment. We got him we took him to the the best hospital uh found the best doctor we've gotten him good medicine and now we're on track um to get him to a healthy place yeah, no 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 yeah, that look me. like you yes that not me okay anajitahidi anakuwa kama wale wenzake kama nikiambiwa nimchague ni mchague mwanafunzi bora nitamchagua ni pasco kwa sababu ana uwezo ana uwezo wa kusoma, ana uwezo wa kuandika, ana uwezo pia wa ku wa ku try to speak English. Ni ngumu. Changamoto nazozipitia mimi kuishi na Pascal hapa nyumbani ni hivyo akiumwa usiku kutafuta usafiri, kumkimbiza hospitali. Na hivyo sasa kuanza kutafuta vyakula ambavyo ni special vya kwake na kipato ni kidogo pia. Kwa kuna sana ugua tu pap vinapanda kwa sababu ana kosa 
body defense kwao tunashindwa namna kumhudumia inabidi kumhudumia kwake ni vyakula tu na vyakula kuvipata ni kazi kwa kweli akiwa na watu ambao ni wakaribu inakuwa ni vizuri waendelee kumpa moyo ingawaje hafahamu lakini ule ukaribu wa kucheza naye pamoja na kuonekana kwamba naye ni mmoja wa sehemu ya jamii itamsaidia vile vile katika matibabu ambayo tunaendelea kumpatia eh hicho tu ni kikubwa ndio hicho ndo cha msingi another important part of what i'm doing is uh, when i first met rita shortly after she said, told me that god loves white people more that haunted me um, she said he loves us more because he gives us the money part of the reason that we come here a lot of us is because of the heart that's here i want her to learn that she has a place and a purpose here and it's not because of me perhaps i'm help giving her some opportunities but i want her to find her strength really wants to be a journalist that's a pretty powerful thing so she can uh, we can get her the education that she needs give her the confidence that she needs she can she can absolutely change where she comes from because she has an awful lot to to offer and change the community long term this is a long term project pascali is only 7 um he's in nursery school so we're looking at a lot a lot of years of education we're looking at university hopefully for all three kids um private schools boarding schools they're they're not free um and i want to give them the best opportunity i can for the future i i hope to open a home that will support children uh with hiv in the community who don't have parents specifically or people who who can care for them i want to show this community that children can get well and live well and contribute